got into racing when I was just a little kid. I was six years old. They built a go-kart track close to my house in Sao Paulo in Brazil. The first circuit that I drove professionally was Interlagos. Interlagos is like the mecca of motorsport of South America. Back in 2012, when we created Formula E, when I understood that the world was turning to electric, that the energy source it was turning to renewables, it was very clear for me that the sport that I love would follow the same route and at the same time bring a message of clean energy and a much better mobility for everyone in the cities. The way that you can play opponent in Formula E, it's almost like playing chess at 200 miles an hour. I think the race is either won or lost with the preparation, not with the race itself. And then you study the opponent. We know which car has its strengths in a particular track or in a particular point of the track. And then we analyze that and we understand where would be the optimum places to attack or to overtake or to defend before even the race we can start. I rely a lot on my team, back in the strategy, back in the pits. They update me with what's my energy status compared to everybody else, how is my pace during a lap or during the race. You try to prepare with the game plan as better as you can, but in real life it's always different. The different strategies I have to use, sometimes play the opponent so he uses more energy. We are adapting all the time. There was a big crash. At that point of the race I was last and the safety car would come in. And I knew that if I stopped in that specific lap, I had the feeling that I could still finish the race. And I called the engineer and said, I'm coming in. And in the end I finished second, but that decision was based on pure instinct in a split second. So every detail counts. When you have to do these split second decisions, you have to rely on experience. In racing, like every professional sport, we are all the time playing mind games or trying to make the opponent feel that he's under pressure. You know how he will react and that can be the difference between winning or losing a championship.